Teranoculus murinus, or more commonly known as the OBT, orange baboon tarantula, Mombasa golden starburst, or orange bitey thing, is an old world terrestrial tarantula that has been known to show semi-arboreal tendencies. This tea is famous for its bright orange color and notoriously grumpy attitude. The OBT comes from the central and southern areas of Africa and is known to be found in Angola, Burundi, the Congo, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, just to name a few countries. Females of this species can live up to 15 years and grow to almost 6 inches in size. Males usually only live about 4 years and are smaller in size. This tea is known to be very defensive and quick to show a threat posture and even slap the ground if it is disturbed. It is important to mention that most prefer to flee before actually biting, and this species is extremely fast, especially when young. They are known to teleport or move so fast your eyes can barely keep up with their movement. This is not a species that you should try to attempt to handle, as their venom is medically significant and can be extremely painful. Though no real in-depth scientific research has been done yet on the effects of their venom on the human body. Being an old world tarantula, this species does not have urticating hairs and relies mainly on its powerful venom for defense. The husbandry for this species is very simple, though you should always be alert when rehousing and have a catch cup handy. They are a hardy and easy to care for tarantula. I keep these tarantulas, like most of my teas, at room temperature between 68 to 74 degrees. If you are comfortable, they are comfortable. As spiderlings, I keep my OBTs in a small dram vial with plenty of substrate for them to burrow into. As they grow larger, I move them into acrylic enclosures with at least 2 inches of substrate and 3 times their leg span in width and height. As they approach the juvenile stage, I move them into an enclosure that is at least 3 times their leg span, usually a little more, with plenty of height so that they can begin webbing up their enclosures as they really begin to show their semi-arboreal tendencies at this stage. And for adults, I keep mine in a 12 by 12 by 12 enclosure set up similar to a GBB enclosure. I provide a hide, about three inches of substrate, and plenty of plants or decorations for the tea to use as anchor points for its webs. I keep the substrate dry and I'm sure to always keep a water dish full so it has water available should it ever need a drink. As far as feeding, I feed my spiderlings under a half an inch flightless fruit flies, confused flower beetles, or cricket legs twice a week. I feed my spiderlings over a half an inch pre-killed small crickets or roaches twice a week until they refuse food during pre-molt. As they grow over an inch, I provide a small cricket or roach no larger than its abdomen at least twice a week. Once they're juveniles, I will feed them three or four medium crickets at least once a week. And as adults, I usually feed three to four large crickets, sometimes a few more, at least once every couple of weeks depending on the size of the abdomen. This species is a voracious eater and it is amazing to watch it take down prey. The only time mine will refuse a meal is when it's in premort. The OBT will make some beautiful web tunnels and is a fascinating specimen to observe, though they can be a little recluse and sometimes you won't see them for weeks. I would not recommend this species to beginners and would suggest new keepers get their experience from faster, new world terrestrials before taking on an OBT. And when you decide to get an OBT, I would suggest starting with a spiderling so that your experience will grow with the tarantula size and you will be accustomed to its behavior by the time it is full grown. As with all tarantulas, their attitude or personality can be different from one to the next, and even from one molt to the next. So far, my adult female is much more relaxed than other OBTs that I have seen. My girl prefers to dive into the safety of her burrow and web tunnels before ever showing a threat pose. It may be because she has such an extensive series of web tunnels and places to hide that she doesn't feel the need to threaten me, or it could just be a more relaxed personality. But I am always cautious and mindful when dealing with her because I know that her personality could change at any time and I do not want to risk her escaping or trying to bite me. 
The OBT is a beautiful orange tarantula that would make a great addition to anyone's collection, as long as you're comfortable enough with your experience to care for such a defensive and fast-moving tea. What's up, Tarantula Collective? My name is Richard. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll give you two reasons. One, it helps get this information out to new keepers further on down the line, like ones that haven't even bought their first tarantula yet. The second reason is it helps motivate me to keep making these videos in the future because they're probably a little more difficult to put together than they look. <laughs> At any rate, the OBT is an amazing tarantula. I, I really enjoy having one in my collection. In fact, it's, it's sitting right here behind the camera. And I know there is a lot of people out there that will probably disagree with me about it not being a good beginner tarantula because they may have got one uh, as their first or within their first five T's. And I understand that. I'm just speaking from my experience just based on how mine acts and I've got a relaxed one. And, and how I see other people's act, you know, I, I just think it's not the best idea for your first tea. But once you've got that experience and you feel comfortable enough with the rehousing and feeding that you, you think you can handle a fast tea that's got a packs a powerful punch if it were to bite you then by all means definitely add one to your collection now I've got some of these t-shirts left from Tinley if you want to buy one just send me a message uh, here on YouTube or on Facebook Instagram wherever you want to reach out oh, we've also got stickers available we've got pins uh, we also have a patreon that we've set up and I've got uh, different tiers set up to where you'll uh, you'll be awarded different prizes after so long being a member but I'm also going to send all of the patreon members limited editions you know a special sticker that I got made for the Tarantula Collective and limited supply is just going to go to those people that support us on Patreon kind of as a thank you uh, for, for helping out, helping support us. If you haven't seen already, I did upload part one of the NRABC, NRAB, NR, N, North American Rep, NRB, NARBC. If you haven't seen already, I did upload part one of the NARBC Tinley Park video. Just kind of a quick tour of everything we did there. We were hanging out with Fear Non Tarantulas. They were nice enough to give us a little table at the end of their booth uh, that we could lay out some shirts and talk to people and get to know you all. I shot a lot of footage, so there's a part two. And it'll be coming out here at the end of the week hopefully i'm splicing it all together right now and uh, you know there's some cool things that they've got an interview with uh, uh we, we checked out josh's frogs checked out a few other vendors spoke with the president of us arc about some brazilian import issues and lacy act and things like that there's a lot of cool content coming in that so be sure to check that out if you want to know as soon as it uploads hit that notification bell down below and, and you'll get alerted once that video gets uploaded as well as any other video we upload uh, we do have a giveaway going on right now because we did cross a thousand subscribers finally which is very exciting exciting. Uh, if you wanted the details of that, just check out the Instagram or the Facebook or on Tumblr. I think I've got all that information there. Pretty much all you have to do to enter is subscribe. If you're a subscriber, you're entered. We're giving away three different prizes. First place, I guess, is going to be one of our Tarantula Collective t-shirts. You're going to get one of each of the stickers and you're going to get a pin and a $50 gift certificate to Fear Not Tarantulas. Unless you live somewhere outside of the U.S., in which case we'll just find a reputable dealer of tarantulas in your area or in your country and uh, we'll get you a $50 gift certificate to them. And second and third place, they're all listed in the description. I'll put the, the rules for the contest down below this video. If you got any species that you would like to see me cover in the future, please be sure to leave that suggestion down below. I've got a long list going. It keeps getting longer and I really appreciate all the help. You know, there's some great suggestions out there. In fact, this was somebody's, actually like four people suggested the OBT. So I got this one done for you guys and uh, next week is also a viewer's suggestion. So I'm reading them, I'm using them. So please, you know, leave them down below. I really appreciate the help. Well, again, I just want to thank you for checking out our channel watching this video. I appreciate you all. You guys are great. I've never had so many friends in my life. <laughs> all right, well, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Tarantula Tuesday. Thank you so much for hanging out watching this episode. I've got to uh, completely move this piece of furniture over here that you cannot see and build some new shelves because we've got a couple snakes there at Tinley and a few other reptiles and I got to get a new shelf to get everything set up. But you'll be seeing that again in, a, in another video shortly, I'm sure. And then I got to feed everybody. It's my day off. That's what I do on my day off. I feed tarantulas all day. All right, with all that said, I got to get out of here and get some work done. All right, I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>